Hello and welcome to this Accomplished Beginners Blender tutorial number six. In this tutorial we'll continue with the house model we had in number five and just look at that from the front. Go into edit mode and press A to deselect everything. And I want to start with this window here. And I do Alt and right mouse click to select this one again. And uh, I'll do Shift D for duplication and S Shift Y to scale that down, the thing I duplicated. And uh, I just want to get it off the walls, so to speak, so it's not touching the actual house model. Um, and then I can just move into position here and then scale Y so I can just kind of extend it a little bit outside of the walls. And then I'll press P to separate this selection and tab to go into object mode and then select that object and do object transform origin to geometry so I have the origin for this object more closely. If you want to you can after you're done merge this object with the house it's just that when I'm working on it I prefer to have it separate so I don't um, you know select any unnecessary vertices while I'm working on this. So what I want to do now is uh, I want to thicken this so I'll, I have selected these two uh, and I'll do E for extrude and scale X and I'll scale it out a little bit like that and then I'll select these two and at the bottom and press 1 to look at it from the front and then E for extrude, scale Z, and I'll have to press Z again to activate that. So it's actually pushing out in the Z direction. There you go. And now we have an open box. I want to close this inside here. I'll press A to deselect and then Alt Shift. No, I need to be in edge mode. Alt and right mouse click and shift alt right mouse click and then W and sub no W and loop tools bridge and then I get this error because it uh, the function encounters a division by zero so what I'll do is I'll select everything here press 3 to look at it from the side so just to know what I'm doing and then R X 30 so now I'm rotating it 30 degrees just so that I will avoid that um, division by zero problem. And uh, there you go. I do the same thing and W and bridge and A to select everything. And if and I'll go back just to make sure so that I see what I'm doing. But uh, R X minus 30. So now, now we're back there. So now that window jam is, or window frame, whatever you want to call it. Um, I will call it, I will actually create a vertex group and call it uh, wind frame, wind frame, uh, and assign so now I have this as a vertex group, so I can, if I want to merge it, I can then separate it again more easily. And uh, go back to this front view here. I want now to add the window pane, the actual window, the glass and everything. So I'll do Shift A and add a plane and RX90 to rotate that uh, and uh, bring it in here and I'll just look at it from the side and bring that out to about there. No, I'll bring it out here in front. So we're in orthogonal view, so we won't lose, it will still be the right size when we size it. So scale this down till about there. And then just go into edge mode and grab that edge and pull that out. So it's just a little bit bigger than the opening. Uh, and then uh, face mode again and W and subdivide. Do two. 
and edge mode, scale X. and scale Z. So when I say scale, I always press S. And then we can just select these faces. And extrude them this way. And I'll turn on the invisible selector and do the lasso select to make sure I get everything. And create a new vertex group called window. And I think I want to actually create one more vertex group called gla window glass. Assign that. So, so we can then I'll start with uh, selecting the window frame there, and uh, and the window, and I'll create a material for this that that is um, basically just white paint. Like this, change to. This is just my prerogative to change like this. So now this is painted white, but the glass needs to be different. So we'll uh, create a new material for it. And uh, I'm going to have it kind of bluish tint. And we'll use transparency, Z transparency to keep it really simple. 0 0.1. So it's very transparent. And I'll assign that. So now I just want to Select the window and the window glass, make sure it's all selected, and then I'll move that into the window frame here, window jam, maybe you call it. So, so and I don't need to select that because I'm gonna move the entire object into the into the house. And I'm gonna look at the light situation here a little bit. I think I want three lights, shift. D to duplicate this one here. I'm going to change the color of this one light here to a kind of bluish tint. Increase the distance a little bit. And this one I'll lower the energy and move it a little bit forward and down. And I'm, I will just have no shadow on those two. We can have shadows, of course, but uh, I just wanted to demonstrate this here. Uh, Shift D to duplicate this light here and uh, move it in into the house. Press C so I can see through the walls and I want to put it down here, kind of by the window. just to show what it looks like. Maybe even lower energy there. And um, take back, bring back uh, solid mode and move the camera into position. Uh, look through it and uh, I'll do R, X, X to rotate it up a little bit and then R, Z to rotate it that way. And okay, there you go. 
Now you have the, the blue light from outside the hitting the wall here and you can see how the lamp on the inside is hitting the through the the glass is hitting the frame and um, I'll move that over and we'll do okay now it's actually the the lower light I think that is doing most of the work here can um, push that back just to show what the effects of the Z transparency is that you actually get light through it. Just bring that up a little bit. And F12. So then you can see how the light inside is on the window frame. If we remove it, you don't get that specularity on that window. Let's do it again. You can see that light. Okay, it's kind of behind, I think. Yeah, it needs to be up here. You can see how that light from inside is hitting through the glass. And uh, if, okay, we'll do that so it's more visible. And you can see that also the corners here are kind of soft. I'll remove that outside of the house and then look at it. Then there's only, only light from outside. And if I change, the material and make it a little bit thicker, less transparent. Then you can see how that works too. So that's it for the window. Um, I thought it would be best to kind of go through some of the materials with the window. The whole point with windows, you know, in this case would be the ability to have something that is actually transparent and also that it um, looks like an actual window frame around the around the opening so go back here and I will continue in the next tutorial with the door it's very similar there are some differences though and they could be worth watching and I'll, I'm just gonna duplicate the windows and uh, uh, so speak complete the house Thank you for listening and uh, it's okay to like, it's okay to comment and it's okay to subscribe.